Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our broadcast on the indium phosphide gallium arsenide photonics compound semiconductor market monitor for the first quarter of 2024. In today's episode, we will focus on significant developments that have occurred in the indium phosphide and gallium arsenide sectors. In this monitor, we provide a quarterly market update on gallium arsenide and indium phosphide, bird dye, epi wafer, and substrate markets including market shares and supply chain analysis on the key market players. I'm Al Jafal and I'm the lead author of this monitor. To start with the Gallium Arsenide Bird Eye market, the market is still dominated by the smartphone applications, especially with the 3D sensing applications featured in Apple's smartphones. Looking at the market share of the many player, players involved in this market, we have witnessed in the past quarters the entrance of a third player in the supply chain of Apple, which resulted in, the, in a drop in the market shares of Lumentum and Coherent. Today, the Gallium Arsenide Drexels market is now entering the low seasonality phase in a Q1 and Q2 2024, driven by the low seasonality in the consumer 3D sensing applications. In a nutshell, the Gallium Arsenide Photonics market is still dominated by consumer applications. However, datacom applications, especially with AI and automotive sectors, are shaping the next growth phase in the next coming quarters and next years. To come to the indium phosphide bird eye market, in the past broadcast, we have mentioned a slowdown in the datacom and telecom applications, driven by high inventories from hyperscalers and cloud service providers, which impacted not only the indium phosphide bird eye market, but also the indium phosphide epi wafer and substrate markets. However, in Q4 23, the market witnessed an, imp an impressive 18% quarter on quarter increase. We have started to see strong signs of recovery. First, in the telecom market, which is improving in China. Secondly, and most importantly, AI is driving 800G and beyond optical transceivers in the telecom market, especially with 100G per lane EMLs and silicon photonics. And later this year, 200G EMLs per lane would be also featured in 1.6 terabytes optical transceivers. This recovery is also projected into the indium phosphate EP wafer and substrate markets. Speaking about substrates, we are witnessing a growing interest in transitioning from 3-inch to 6-inch indium phosphate. The first signs of this transition occurred a few days ago when Coherent announced the world's first 6-inch indium phosphate fab, something that we had anticipated a few months ago in this monitor. More information on 6-inch indium phosphate are available in this monitor. So in conclusion, the indium phosphate market is recovering, AI is driving this growth in the, in the coming quarters, and 6-inch indium phosphate is in the corner to enter the market. For more information about this product, please uh, feel free to contact our sales in various regions. Thank you for tuning in today, and stay tuned for future broadcasts.